Welcome back to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you another technique of using Lightroom and Photoshop. If you didn't understand any part of the video, please just comment below. I will be responsive. First, I go to develop part in Lightroom. As I told you, uh, I have to use Lightroom first, then Photoshop. Uh, I'm adjusting the lighting by just changing the changing these numbers uh, I don't I think I need to clarify give some clarity uh, and now let's just arrange the coloring as you see This red color is for lipids, the yellow one is for the face. Uh, this is also a nice tool. Uh, this you can use it in Lightroom and even in Photoshop as well. Uh, here I can change the, the colors from one to another. See, you can change the color of the jeans, you can change the color of his face. Here I can I can change colors from darker to lighter or from lighter to darker. This is a nice tool. Uh, if, I, if you, you if you wanna uh, use that tool you can do so many things with it as you can see I am intensifying the color of the sky even towards more bluer see And here, if you, if you decrease the contrast, the focus will be on the subject's face, subject's body more, instead of the, the area. Sharpening is really, I like it. As you can see, you can sharpen it, and if you want to, if you want to get rid of the that noise you can just uh, use that color as you can see I smooth it now it's smoother than before okay so I'm almost done yes let's go to Photoshop here, I recommend you to download that filter, which is color effects. If you download it, I I already have chosen four fa favorite ones, four favorite filters, and this is one of them. Cross processing. Okay, fine. Cross processing. This one is photo stylus. As you can see, you can you can change the color the way you want. You can highlight, you can give more lighting, and you can dark it. It's all upon you. This is a nice tool as well. This is called ink. If you can't see well, this is ink. download that one you can use anything you want but keep the photo natural
Let's see, how is it? No, go to gradient. Uh, you can adjust the colors. You can use copy some colors like that for such photos. And choose uh, my turn color. As you can see, the jacket has been changed. Duplicate that layer. I did that by Control Alt E. If you want to know, Control Alt E. Uh, choose overlay, and then make it closer. This is retouching. See how what I can do. that tool the brushing tool that brush tool is really awesome you can do that look it is so natural but before you have to duplicate the layer and choose the above layer uh, make it high pass in the filter tab and then edit it below Natural. It's so nice. It's much better, much better than using filters. Look what I have done. I guess this is all about that video.